How's it going everyone? In this video I'll show you how to make YouTube thumbnails using Canva. It's possibly the easiest and quickest way to get the job done for beginners or non-designers. If you haven't heard of Canva you'll get to know the basics in this video. Essentially it's a free online graphic design tool. It's very simple to use you just drag and drop text and images on the page. As with most things online there are multiple ways to skin a cat so if you know how to use Photoshop you can probably whip up a thumbnail relatively easily. If you don't have Photoshop then I believe Canva is the next great alternative. So let's get straight into it. I'll show you how I made this thumbnail by customising a pre-made template made by a professional. Firstly open up Canva, it's free to sign up to and it works on nearly every browser. Under create a design click on YouTube thumbnail. It has the correct size YouTube requires, if it doesn't come up you can search for it in the search bar. The Canva editor will appear. On the left sidebar you have the menu where you can insert pictures, shapes, text and backgrounds. Next to it you also have pre-made templates. Click the one you like and it will appear in the main window. I'll choose this one because it stood out to me. When you hover over the template a blue box will appear indicating the elements that can be edited. Double click on the text to edit it. You can change the font and the colours in this box. Click and drag the side of the box to change the width or shape. I'm also going to add the Canva logo, luckily they have this in the elements section. I recently used it so it appears at the top but you can search for it here. I'll reposition it by clicking and dragging it, then I'll crop it to read in Canva because we already have make in the top. Double click to crop it, the circles will turn to right angle lines and you can crop it from there. Once you've got the perfect shape just press enter and the cropping is done and you can resize it. Ok the text looks good to me, I will now change the background because I don't need this picture of coffee although I do like the style. On the left click on background, the solid colours are at the top, I just need a plain black one, once you click on it the background will change. I like this diagonal line going across with the italic font so I'll just recreate this look. Click on elements to add shapes, I'll clear the search to get to the main options. Here you have the grids and shapes, the difference between them is the grid you can add images within the grid. With shapes you can only change the colour. I'm going to grab a square and reposition and resize it in place. The circle button with arrows inside allows you to change the angle. That looks decent but I'll just change the colour to make it more striking. Click the colour box to make the colour menu appear, I'll make it a YouTube red and change the text of YouTube to match it. Again just click the element, highlight the text and then change the colour in the menu at the top. There you go, it's starting to take shape now. Now I want to draw attention to the text and add a human element to make it more appealing. People are drawn to other people so I'll find a typical YouTuber pose. You can get free stock images on Pixabay, as you can see here there are some typical I'd say cheesy stock photos. I'll use this one because it fits the layout of my text, the angle of her body will fit nicely into the red block that I have set. She's also got the double point going on so it will draw attention to the text. You might be thinking she's pointing in the wrong direction but that's no problem, I'll show you how to change that shortly. Firstly let me download this picture and get rid of the background. Shout out to Robin Higgins for making the picture free for commercial use with no attribution required. Thank you for the uh, stock photos. She's also pointing to the download button so I won't go amiss here. I already have it saved because I've done this thumbnail before. Now head back to Canva to upload it. The good thing about Canva is that they save your images for you. These are my previous uploads. Just click and drag it into the thumbnail to add it. Now as you can see it doesn't work with the white background so we will have to remove it. Canva doesn't have the option to remove backgrounds from images so I just need a quick edit. You can remove backgrounds in Photoshop, Pixlr or Photopea but I'm going to use a free online service called remove.bg. Just go to remove.bg, click upload image and in 5 seconds it will be done. You can only download a small version of the file for free, if you want the high quality version you'll have to pay for it, however for my needs this will work. I'll make another video on how to remove backgrounds using photo editing software, in which case you can get the high res version, but for now this should be ok. Once that's downloaded head back to Canva and upload it. 
add it to the thumbnail and click flip horizontal to make a point in the right direction. I'll resize it slightly and that should be done. A thumbnail made in less than 10 minutes. The good thing about Canva is you can save different versions and see them side by side, effectively A-B testing your work. I normally make several versions and stand back to see which one stands out the most. There you go, a super simple way to make YouTube thumbnails quickly, easily and for free. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.